and do so at smash.gg slash hat Hollywood Action Tuesdays shortened All right, I think it's gonna be Lucas versus Snake. Very, um, un like I, it's a rare matchup. You don't quite see it too often unless you live in a region where the two players there play those characters. Getting into game one, I believe they chose PS2. Yes, they did indeed. You're gonna see a lot of similar uh, grenade setups, specifically with the use of the side platforms, as you saw in the last game from Key. Muffin does have a bit superior airspeed to Mario, so his Lucas might be able to outrange and just drift away from a couple things, but Key will be on point every right. time. He's going to be looking to abuse his air drift. And Lucas is very good at edge guarding Snake, uh, less trapping him when it comes to two framing his Cypher especially, which is why Snake, you'll often see him opt to go high in the matchup, just so he avoids getting the Cypher broken and getting down smash. Because that down smash is very large and it kills like insanely early. Also, Lucas, you know, he has that, that magnet or whatever it's called that can uh, absorb grenades, C4, mm -hmm. you know, the whole nine yards. Wow, got him with the PK freeze, and that's going to be the first stock going straight to Muffin. Yeah, important to know that magnet doesn't actually absorb the grenades itself, but it does absorb the, the explosions. explosions. Yeah. All right, Key opting to go high, landing with the C4. Did he pull a C4? I, don't, I actually didn't think he placed a C4, but he did pull a grenade. Just See that, that C4? The, the way it's placed is it kind of discourages you from dashing there and, and less trapping Snake. Uh, so that's why he'll kind of like stay in its general vicinity until it explodes. You, you have to pay attention to, the, to when it's pulled because I believe it explodes after 30 to 35 seconds. One of the two, not quite sure. And that down smash does hit behind Lucas. I, th I believe it's the last hit or the last two hits that like extend behind him. Yeah, each successive hit is larger than the last. And that grenade, uh, that C4 placement, just gives you a bit more landing variability. You can go high. You can go low a bit more often. That F tilt. You cannot go anywhere in the face of Muffin. Sweet spot. F tilt going to be taking that stock key or uh, Muffin up three stocks to one on key. Let's see how key is going to like what adjustments he'll make to keep this game from slipping away from him. Good shield grab on that falling up air. Recognize that Muffin was too high up to act. There was enough minus frames to get that grab. Actually goes past the ledge with the PK Thunder 2 and gets Whoa! the roll read in. Muffin's playing so well! What, what was that? Was that up air? What, <laughs> what traded there? <laughs> might have been fair? No, fair's too slow. It might have been either... Because either, either, back air would kill off the side. Was, I think it was up air. It had to be, right? I mean, he ricocheted off the bottom of the stage with the trade, and yeah. I think he was above him, so I don't know quite what happened very there. interesting, but like, Muffin still quite a lead, but Snake, honestly, his... <gasps> oh my goodness! I don't know how that didn't hit. I think, did he spot dodge? <laughs> All right, and Muffin's going to be taking that? No, not, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Well, now, yeah. <laughs> and that's what I was talking about, that down smash, giant hitbox. Snake goes low. It's almost it's almost a guaranteed kill. Almost. Because there's some, you know, some variation. If the snake air dodges super low and mixes up his timing, it could potentially miss. And as much as I love that game-ending interaction from Muffin, I have to praise the fact that he went back and absorbed the grenade explosion just to get that extra bit of percent. Not resting on his laurels, not going on the fact, hey, I have a oh. stock lead in half. Just knowing that any point, this could be different. This is interesting. Key going to switch to his to Ken on Battlefield. All right, let's see what he has in mind. I know Key was a dedicated Ryu main in 4, and now... He does have a really good Ken, but he doesn't like playing him because, quote, in his words, Ken is really broken and ignorant. So he just goes with Snake instead, who's also really, really, really good. Oh, oh my god, he might die. <laughs> okay, that was scary. Being caught off stage without a jump as Shoto's is, it could be a death sentence. Still able to do the horizontal Tatsu, but Muffin continuing this ledge trap. It's playing so good! Muffin from Mars! <laughs> Muffin right now, huge lead, but, you know, lead's going to evaporate versus Ken. Snap of the fingers, he hits you with a up tilt prox jab. You, you die. You die. <laughs> that prox jab confirms at every percent. The second time actually going past the ledge with a PK Thunder 2. Excellent turnaround, F tilt. And once again, the PK fire completely sniping him out of the air. Sniped him off stage. And right now, Muffin once again with the lead. Red the air dodge in! Tried to go for the PK freeze, but that's going to cost him his stock. Got him with the up tilt prox jab into Shore Yukin. Almost falling out there. I feel like floaties are the ones that uh, bother Ken the most, give him the most trouble. Because 
as a wolf player, I have literally never fallen out of that move. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit more difficult, especially considering Lucas's hitboxes right. is, is a lot smaller and mm -hmm. the window is a lot more narrow. It and is it, it true. All it all depends on um, it all depends on positioning as well, positioning, percent, etc. But Key, you know, he had it that time, and right now Key doesn't have the lead. But you know, Ken, honestly, if you don't two stock this character, you're not winning. Got dare to dare there. Ooh, oh, oh but it's too a little bit of un unfortunate play there from Key, just sloppy. I'm fairly sure it also depends on if that first up tilt hits a grounded or aerial opponent. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. I got him with that down tilt into forward tilt, caught his jump in with the back air, tried to maybe, like Muffet is going for read after read after read. I mean, he's just throwing out moves, and a lot of them are working, but a lot of this is just calculated pressure. Very that calculated. That PK Thunder 2 is going to put him in position. Awkward for Key to approach. You can't really do anything except for dash attack, which will leave you vulnerable that if it whiffs. Back air. This could be the stock. Got him with that down air. Dragged him off stage with it using the multi-hit. Wow, Muffin up 2-0 on Key. <laughs> Playing phenomenally right now. Yeah, it's almost like if you watch it, it looks like Key's running into his punches. But, like, not in neutral, just in when he's trying to get out of disadvantage. He's just reading his jump-ins. He's reading his landings. It's crazy. Muffin's just so on point. He's just so experienced with how people react to Lucas's pressure, Lucas's moves. And he just expect like, he knows what to expect, and he's ready to cover it. Yeah, that's, that's just a statement game, too, for Muffin. You have to imagine that... Snake's out of the picture. Ken not really doing much better. A little better with avoiding a few edge guards, but the neutral play was just completely one-sided. Muffin is just playing hell on point today. Uh, up to all on Key, but let's see what Key is going to do to bring this back. Already with 50% racked up. Has him at the ledge. That was weird. <laughs> Covers nicely for the Shoryu and focuses to shift his hurtbox. All right, got him with that landing there. Prox jab into... What's, what's that move called? The, the kick? Roundhouse. Roundhouse kick. <laughs> got him with that down tilt back throw once again. I believe if you try to mash jump, that's not always true. Uh, but I, I'm not entirely sure. Good air dodging. A recovery from Key. Went for the neutral hit of Shoryuken, but he is going to fall out of it because he was kind of above and inside of him. Yeah, there is sort of that awkward blind spot in the middle, but... No blind spot there on the Shoryu. Muffin gonna be flying off the top. Key takes first blood. Key channeling his inner Smash 4 Ryu and just using his, like, the la the lack or the low lag on Shoryuken on all of his aerials to mix up Muffin there. Is gonna be taking that PK freeze into the blast zone. But he does still have a lead so far. Landing there into up tilt. Try to tech chase him on the platform, but mistimed it. Actually connecting there, an excellent perfect shield in the air. Muffin was completely ready for that conversion. All right, tried to down air his jump back, but Muffin recognizing, drifting back. Ooh, nice punish coming out from Key. And I feel like that was completely intentional. The Hadouken there was probably a bait to pull out the magnet just to catch him in a bit of end lag. Ooh, that might be. Oh, he messed up. Misinputted the Shoryuken. Once again, went for an immediate shore you can, but it is going to trade with that forward air. Going above, catching him with the first PK Thunder. Right, what's Key going to do to take this stock? <sighs> Forwarded him out of that up smash. Didn't quite time it to get the invincibility to lap, to overlap with the forward air. Down tilt, F tilt. The stock is so important in this, in this uh, best of five set. And Doken will push him off. Excellent run up F tilt from Muffin. He now has stage control, but he able to make it back for the second time. And out of disadvantage, the Nair is actually going to put him in the lead. It was forward air. That forward air not oh, going to kill, though. Oh, excuse me, yes. Yeah, they do look alike, though. He sticks out his foot for both. <laughs> wow, sucked him in with that magnet. That's like the Muffin tech. The magnet when you're on ledge. Try to catch, trying to catch him landing on top of him, but Key not going to bite. Who's going to take this this stock? They're playing like it's already last hit. Ooh, he could have got him with that up. He had a shield, which he did, but it was a little slow. But Muffin's still dropping shield. Uh, and Key going to have a small lead. Let's see if he's going to be able to extend before he loses this stock. Yeah, that was a bit of a catch-22 for Muffin. Any more time. <sighs> oh, my goodness. It. What a response. Another PK freeze. He's hit three this set. Missing the ledge with that Shoryuken. He has not been able to hold the lead this whole set. 
All right, got him with the hard down tilt into uh, uh, whatever the hell that move's called. <laughs> the roundhouse. <laughs> the roundhouse. What? <laughs> Technique from Mars. Often is a labber. Always known, just labbing Lucas Tech in his basement. I'm kidding. <laughs> wow, and just went off stage for the edge going off it for Mars. Gonna take that set three over. Keep playing absolutely phenomenally. I'm stunned. I'm stunned, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Took the words out of my mouth. Top player from Mars. And I believe I'm up. And to Key's credit, he did really well in the first two stocks there, but at that third stock, and especially towards the latter half of it, it was all muffing. He got every edge guard he wanted. Some of those misinputs from Key probably didn't help, but at the end of the day, 